What's a holiday season without good food? The holiday scene to bring out the sweet tooth in all of us. And this morning we have a recipe to add to your holiday sweets. Chef Henry of Yes We Cater and John Valise are here to show us how to make sugar plums and other treats. Great to have you both here with us. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. It's a pleasure to be here. Sure. Um, I'm sure you've heard of sugar plums before. Well, I've been in the Nutcracker, so I think I've actually been oh, a sugar oh, plum. Okay. Well, then <laughs> but I've never eaten one. So. Yeah, <laughs> we actually brought the uh, sugar plum fairy with us today, uh, executive chef Mark Henry. <laughs> That's you. I'm we'll looking be, around. Where's the fairy? I appreciate, fairy? That. <laughs> appreciate that. Performing sugar okay. plums today. So um, if you take notice to this beautiful ice card it's we have gorgeous. here in the fruit display, it's a wonderful addition, focal point, for your holiday event. If you might be uh, in need of something that kind of sets off your fruit display or... This is so nice. Thanks for making, making us oh. for making this for us. It's really it. incredible. Yeah, a lot of fun. So you <laughs> can do, customize these, obviously, oh, for whatever people want. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. I love it. And so you can bring these with the other things you oh, cater. Yeah. Absolutely. It, Absolutely. And it keeps the food cold. <laughs> there you so go. Double, double fun, duty actually, yeah. in front of all these gorgeous fruits. <laughs> so what are sugar plums? Well, we don't hear plum, about them very actually, often. Actually, sugar plum... Um, sugar plums are a very old-fashioned, old English dessert. They come from probably the 18th century. Um, they come from the day of uh, Yorkshire puddings and, and figgy puddings. Figgy and puddings. You know, they, they're, they're an old English dessert. And they're actually a, a, a very rich uh, combination of nuts and dried fruits with uh, a little coconut orange juice ground up and mm. made into a little ball. Now, what I've done is a modern rendition of the sugar plum cookie mm -hmm. because, because a, a lot of that mixture is just too intense. I see. Uh, that mixture is, uh, it, it's, this is the mixture here. It's a, it's a very dense, Thick. hard yeah. mixture of dried fruit and nuts. Like that fruit cake no one really wants yeah, to eat. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what I've done is I took, uh, I made a, a light sugar casing for the cookie and I garnished it with a little candy leaf. Oh, I so love that's it. where we how we so made So show the sugar us what you've got here. Are you going well, to show us first how to make I'm going to make some truffles. truffle. Oh, I'm going to make some ooh, chocolate truffle. Now, to make chocolate truffle, the first thing you have to do is you you uh, take equal parts mm -hmm. of cream, heavy cream, and chocolate, hmm. and okay. you you basically do you, do you bring. Do you prefer the, a certain kind of chocolate or whatever your taste buds like? Um, my favorite chocolates. I, I I don't know whether I can mention brand names. I would look for the highest cocoa ratio okay. possible. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and bittersweet, this, maybe dark. Bitter, bittersweet, bittersweet, dark. Actually, okay. I used a combination of dark and and milk here mm -hmm. um, because it makes it, it's a little bit more palatable. Hmm. Um, but basically, I, I'm using a Swiss chocolate today. Okay. Okay. So you put it in so with yeah, the cream. Basically, all you're doing is you're putting. I'm putting eight ounces of of chocolate into eight ounces of cream, okay? Now, all I'm gonna do is mix this until it melts. All melts, right, okay. Okay, and I, I already spilled a little You're bit. You're not doing well unless you get messy <laughs> in the kitchen. That's my philosophy. <laughs> Basically, see how right now it looks kind of coarse and, right, and, right. and not, not smooth. Basically, this will come together and be completely smooth. I'm gonna remove Ooh, it from the heat. It's already smelling good. I'll remove it from the heat, and basically all I'm gonna do is is mix it together till it's smooth. Now, once it's smooth, then it gets refrigerated. Okay. Okay. Um, sometimes what I'll actually do is stir it over an ice bath so that I so that I can thicken it immediately and make my truffles. Okay, if you okay, want to. Okay, let's yeah. go ahead and do that. Okay. But now, where we so are right now, this is truffle filling. Oh, so okay. that's what it turns out. Yeah. To be. Basically, what happens is that this chocolate mm -hmm. will will cool and get thick to a point where it's creamy and smooth, but not hard. Right. Okay, now chocolate wow. truffles. Do you know what truffles are actually? No, truffles? no, not uh, exactly. The, the, the truffles are the little, they're, they're almost, they're uh, relative to the mushroom. They grow oh, right. underneath you trees. Oh, right, truffles, right. I never and thought they, of they, it. And it's pigs related. find them. Well, they look like something that came out of the dirt. The reason it has the name truffle is because it resembles a truffle. Oh, Okay, no a real idea. truffle that you find in the woods looks a lot like this. Okay, that's what. So a what did you just like. roll it in? A little cocoa. Just a little you could cocoa roll it in smart. cocoa, chopped nuts, powdered sugar, mm -hmm. whatever you like. It's kind of mm. nice. It, you could also coat it with chocolate. Wow. <laughs> what Mark because says is that if you can boil water, <laughs> you can make truffles. It sounds but see how too simple that easy. is. You yeah. bring the cream, you melt the chocolate, you shape it, and you put it in cocoa. And what are these that's little simple. creations Okay, now here. where we are is that what I did was we we talked about. The sugar plums. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got dried fruits. Okay. I chose a, ch a mixture of dried berries and some pecans and some coconut 
and a little bit of orange juice. Okay. Now I use Chambord because it complements the raspberries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, I pureed it in a food processor to make uh, this. Oh, you put all these yeah. together, and this is what turned now into. Now okay. this is the old-fashioned sugar plum. I see. Okay. Now, honestly, and what we do is we just take that and we, pardon me, and we just roll that around. And this is the old-fashioned sugar okay. plum. Now, this is too rich. I mm. personally don't even want to eat this. Okay. The reason being is because <laughs> it's too much. Okay. But that's what in the 17th century you would call a sugar plum. Right. Okay. Now that we have more now, advanced now technology, that we, now that we've established we have to that, make it like that. What I've done is I've taken, uh, you ever had the little peach cookies at, at, uh, at uh, weddings? Sure, okay. sure. This is how you make the peach oh, cookies. a little filling in there. But what we're doing is taking a little bit of the sugar plum. I see. And so we're putting it inside the peach in the cookie. And nice. we're going to put that together. Oh, how of pretty. course, that one doesn't match perfectly. That's cool. Close but, enough. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm going to roll it in. You know what? Everybody likes Chambord, so we'll put a little bit of Chambord on it. I don't even know what Chambord is. Oh, it's a raspberry liqueur. It's uh, very, very good. Oh. Okay, well, just smell it. Interesting. You yes. soak it. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay, oh, so wow. we soak it in a little bit of Chambord. That is good. And then we roll it in sugar. Now, let me get a... Um, I'll just use my spoon. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And this is just colored sugar, I take yeah, it. Yeah, all I did it's with this pretty. is I, I took regular table sugar and I mixed a little blue and red and I kind of made a rainbow so that so that when I'm it's gorgeous. when I'm when I'm putting the sugar on the sugar plum, mm -hmm. it looks it comes, very it colorful. Looks like a plum. That and looks then I have a leaf to garnish it. Very, very pretty. Well, we are out of time, so let uh -huh. me tell everyone where they can find you and your okay. beautiful creations. Yes, we I cater. Host their cooking series every third Monday on the South Side at Jay Verno Studios. And here's a preview of the menu plan for their next class on December 18th. The menu includes Asiago baskets, pear with pistachio, scallops and bacon, and chocolate piped fruits. To make your reservation, give the guys a call at 412 373 9322. Chef Henry and John, thanks so much. Thank you, Christine. Happy holidays. It's a pleasure. Happy holidays. Still to come, we, we're going to help you determine what's in and what's out on the toy aisle this season.